Finally, we have the Trezor wallet. For interfacing with uh, the Trezor wallet, we go to trezor.io slash start. And uh, here you can come in and select the Trezor one, which is what we have. Okay, so now we need to install what's called the, the Trezor bridge. That's gonna allow us to uh, interact with uh, the device. Okay, so here we have the option um, to either create a new wallet or recover a wallet. So we're gonna select uh, create a wallet. And there's a few steps here we need to do in order to initialize this wallet. So the first, we have to create a backup. So we're going to confirm we understand that and continue. So now the Trezor is going to display on the device here, one through 24, and we're gonna cycle these words. We need to note them down. So we would use Trezor backup card, and we're just gonna cycle through these and write the word down. So I've gone through and I've written down all 24 words, cycling them to the end. And then it's going to actually ask to cycle through all these words one more time and compare them to what I've written down. Okay, so now that we've written down the 24 word seed phrase, we've also now uh, reviewed that again, and now we're gonna click continue and continue. So we should name the device. We can, you know, Trezor one, you know, backup one. Okay, it wants us to confirm. So we still press that button, then continue. Now we need to enter in our pin. So I'm going to confirm that that's what we want to do. And it's going to give us the scrambled uh, numbers key. And we're going to type that into the computer. So we're going to select one, two, three, four as the pin for this demo. And enter. It's going to ask us to re-enter it again. And you can see so that now we've confirmed that. So continue. And that's it. This Trezor device is now ready for use. Okay, so now we're going to receive some Bitcoin Cash. We're going to show the full address. And you'll see that it's asking to check the address on the ledger. So it's going to display the receive address on your ledger that's up on the screen. And you want to make sure these two match again in case, you know, if your computer was compromised and somebody made it so that it displayed something different on the screen, this is where you catch it. So I'm going to confirm that. Now that I've confirmed it, then it'll display uh, the Bitcoin Cash uh, account address. So using the Trezor with uh, MyEtherWallet is similar to the ledger. You're going to go to myetherwallet.com, ensure that that's the address. Go to the tab Send Ether and Tokens, and then select Trezor and connect Trezor. So now we're going to enter one, two, three, four again by matching up the numbers on the Trezor that are scrambled every time. Now we can select uh, an ETH address and unlock our wallet. And now we're in an ETH address. And the Bitcoin Cash is on its way. So while we're waiting for that to confirm, we can go to the uh, Transactions tab on the, on the upper left. And there we go. There is our incoming transaction. If we want to uh, send a transaction, so let's find the NeoCash Bitcoin Cash donation address. Well, it looks like we run into a slight problem here. The Trezor, Trezor does not support the new Bitcoin Cash address format. So, okay, Pedro, so we found another donation instead. Yes, we're going to donate uh, 50 cents to the um, Ross Elbrick. Tree Ross Elbrick. There we go. 50 cents. Send. What happens now, Pedro? So now it wants us to confirm the transaction on, on the device. Um, so again... Um, it's telling us how much how much to send and the receive address to send to. And now, you, again, you'll get a, another screen to confirm uh, that you really want to send this Bitcoin cash to, to that address. So double confirmations. A double confirmation. 
Trezor supports Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, Dash, Zcash, NEM, as well as ERC20 Ethereum tokens. In addition to the native Trezor wallet, other wallets are also supported. There is a Trezor manager for Android that allows you to use the Trezor device on a USB on-the-go cable.